Okay, so in this video, I am going to walk through how to install CAD Query, uh, which requires Anaconda. In most cases, there um, are some Linux package developers that are uh, working on making it to where you can install it straight through a package manager. Uh, but to my knowledge, um, none of those, except maybe Arch Linux, um, works at this time. Uh, so I'm going to walk through uh, installing um, Anaconda using an alternative method. Uh, if you're comfortable with Anaconda, you can skip that part. I'll have timestamps down uh, below. Um, but if you're not familiar with Anaconda or you've had problems with it in the past, I'm going to walk through this alternative method. And everything that I'm going to go through here is in the README. Uh, so if you go to the CAD Query org uh, on GitHub, and then to the CAD Query project. If you scroll down, uh, you will see this alternate Anaconda, Anaconda installation method here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is walk through that, um, and then I will go through um, what is in the README uh, for installing more of a development, cutting edge development version, and then a uh, stable version of CAD Query. Development moves pretty quickly on CAD Query, so I typically encourage people to install the development version or the more cutting edge version um, because a lot of the, the newest newest features they've seen mentioned on, on GitHub and other places um, won't exist unless you grab the, the latest master. I think a lot of times where people run into trouble is running Conda init after installing Anaconda or Miniconda, uh, which makes changes to your system and changes your, your bash configuration scripts and things like that and can make it really hard to get to your underlying versions of things that are installed like Python. Uh, so this method sidesteps that issue. Um, the drawback is, is that you have to do a little bit more work each time you want to use Anaconda, but the advantage is it's not making changes to your system that might make it harder to, to find things or to use things. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do here is use wget to grab a copy of uh, Miniconda Latest. Um, you can use Anaconda if you want the full Anaconda, but uh, Miniconda works just fine with CAD Query and uh, the install size is much smaller. Uh, so I typically prefer that. So I'm going to use wget here to grab a copy of that. I'm just going to put up my downloads folder. Once I've got that, I'm going to use bash to execute the script. And I'm going to uh, put it in my home directory and uh, under the miniconda mini subdirectory. You can install miniconda globally, but I think it's just as easier or easier to install it in your home directory. Okay, that's done. So now every time I want to use Miniconda, I want to start creating switching environments, installing things into environments. I need to run this activate script. So this is how I run that. I just source this activate script. And you'll notice I get the base indicator on here telling me that I'm in the base environment. And we'll go through creating other environments for CAD Query later on. Uh, once you're in this environment you can type conda deactivate to deactivate the environment um, and you'll also notice that if I open a new terminal as I did here I don't end up with the base indicator right here because it hasn't changed my environment hasn't changed my bash config um, it left everything untouched the only disadvantage, as I said, of doing that is that you have to run this uh, activation script every time you want to use it. Okay, so now that we have Miniconda installed, we can create a CAD Query environment and install a CAD Query into it. So I'm going to clean this up, and we'll come back to the README. And as I said, I'm going to start off with the development installation first, which gives you more of the cutting-edge version. Um, if you want the stable version, 
you can skip ahead a little bit as I show how to install that later on. But the first thing we'll do is create an environment. Um, so we're still in Miniconda here. We've got the base indicator. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call this Mini, Mini Con, or CAD Query Dev. Um, to keep it separate from the stable version, you can call it whatever you want. It, the, the name really doesn't matter. I'll say yes to proceed. Okay, so it's telling us now that to activate it, we'll do Conda Activate CAD Query Dev. This is separate from the Activate script that we ran to start Miniconda up. This is to activate the environment, which switches us into that context. So everything that we install from here on out is going to be contained within that environment, not polluting our base environment or our other environment um, or our main system. So activate that. So now I'll come back. We've done that line, the activation. Now we're going to do the install. You'll notice the CAD query equals master here. That's what makes it so that it installs the, the latest version um, from uh, the code versioning system from GitHub. So we'll install that. This can take a little bit depending on, on your system, your internet connection, things like that. There's a fair amount of packages that have to be installed that CAD query depends on. Say yes to install all those packages. Now it'll go through and install everything. Okay, so it looks like it, everything installed successfully here. We're in the correct environment. So now what I should be able to do is start the Python console and do import CAD query. That should succeed. That did. And then I can do something like result equals C, uh, CAD query dot work plane. And use the XY work plane and create a box. That's one unit on a side. And then I'll just print the result. Okay, and we've got a work plane object that contains our box right here that we can export or do whatever else we need to. Okay, now that we have a CAD Query development environment, we're going to walk through how to create a CAD Query stable environment. Um, if you don't need the latest features and you want to make sure that you're on the latest minor version of CAD Query, this might be a good option for you. So I'm going to go ahead and deactivate the environment. So we're back to the base environment now. And if we come back to the readme and we scroll down here, we'll see there's a stable standalone version section here. Okay, and it's got a slightly different line. So we're going to go ahead and um, create a new environment. And I'm going to call it CAD Query Stable instead of Dev. Um, then create that. Yep. All right, and then we'll, it's telling us to activate the environment. All right, so now we're in CAD Query Stable. We have a, a clean, separate environment to install into. We're going to grab this installation line here. And notice the, the difference. The only difference here is that instead, instead of CAD Query equals master, it's saying CAD Query equals two. That's where the, the it grabs the latest stable version. So that completed successfully. And we'll go ahead and test it the same way we did the development environment or the dev environment. We'll start Python. We'll do import CAD query. And a lot of times I do import CAD query as CQ just to shorten my lines a little bit. All right, that was successful. That's a good sign. Result equals cq.workplane xy.box one and then I will print the result. 
and we got the the same result as we did before we get a work plane object back that holds our box so we know things are working properly there is one other option for installing CAD query but it has a fairly limited use case it can't be used from inside the Python REPL or a Python script uh, but that is CQCLI if you go to GitHub and it's under the CAD query organization and uh, the project is called CQCLI and CQCLI is designed to run as a standalone command line utility and what it does is it runs CAD query scripts and converts the results of that script into some kind of usable output format like STL or step those are the two that are supported at the, the time of this recording but more are planned in the future the nice thing about CQCLI is that it has binary releases so it can run standalone without an anaconda environment or any other kind of dependencies installed so if you come into uh, releases from the main page and you, you find the latest tag click on that and then if you expand assets down you'll see that there are versions for Linux Mac OS and Windows you should just be able to download those extract them and then the utility should just run from the command line without installing anything else it should just work the readme is fairly uh, filled out at this point including a usage section with how to use it uh, down here and some other information as far as contributing and creating your own other plugins for other output formats that you might want all right so hopefully that was a helpful introduction on how to install CAD query both to use from inside of a Python script and to use from the command line if you have any questions or I've missed anything you have comments please feel free to leave a comment on this video CAD query also has a discord channel and a Google group that you can uh, join to ask questions and have general discussions those are in the CAD query readme but I'll also put links to those uh, in the description of this video thanks for watching